Kels and I decided to take a couple days and get away from the city, get away from the shops, get away from life. So we're up in Duluth and we just stopped and had our first coffee. Kels is driving I at uh, Pelican Coffee Company and it is okay. What I'm finding out by doing research for coffee here in Duluth is that everyone just uses Duluth Coffee Company, so it's pretty much the same no matter wherever you go. But anyways, we're just taking, I guess a day and a half really, two nights away, just to relax and uh, kind of recharge. We're pretty bad at that in general, so we're forcing ourselves to. We've been pretty tired lately, and so opportunity to chill. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go take we're headed down to downtown Duluth right now. Just gonna take some pictures and video and eat wherever looks fun and we have zero plans at all. That's an update on our life. <laughs> update. Life update. Done. This is our view from the place we're staying in Duluth. That would be uh, not an ocean. It's Lake Superior. It's a huge lake. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, just relaxing, having fun together. Something we haven't gotten to do a lot of. We have a great view. Uh, we're gonna go get dinner here pretty soon. Maybe go get ice cream. Tonight we're gonna make s'mores out by the fire. I drive back to Minneapolis tomorrow. Just enjoying, enjoying the trip, enjoying being away. All right, got one last stop before we head back to the cities. Uh, we found a coffee shop called Cedar Coffee Company. It's this super cute little building here. We had to go on a little dirt road through the woods to get here. So uh, we're gonna grab some coffee and then head back home in a bit. Finally made it back home uh, from Duluth. We had we had a great time, just uh, opportunity to get away. I think over the last few months, just work and life has just been super exhausting. And uh, I don't think when you're in the midst of it, you're so busy, you got so much stuff going on, you don't really realize when you're starting to burn out. And uh, there were some signs like I just stopped. Uh, I stopped having joy for what I was doing. Um, started going to bed really early, getting plenty of sleep but still waking up completely exhausted. Started to be very short, get angry easily, get frustrated easily. I think one of the biggest signs was just uh, I stopped wanting to help others. I just got to a point where I just wanted to focus on my work and my specific things and uh, just let everyone else take care of their things. And so I uh, just got to a point where 
I just was done. So we took a couple days off. We went to Duluth, we relaxed, we had fun, we laughed together. Uh, we spent an entire day uh, of not looking at our phones, not checking how the shops were doing, not answering texts or emails from anyone from church. Um, just having fun, eating, exploring, uh, finding good coffee, all the things that we love to do when we're together. I'd say I feel, I feel recharged. There's a lot ahead of us. There's a lot of stuff for us to do. Um, there's a lot of projects and tasks and all of that stuff. Uh, but I feel, um, I feel joy in it. I see that stuff looking forward. And so, I don't know, I just share that with you because I think we all get in these states where uh, we've been working so hard. Um, even things we're so passionate about when we love so much that we work so hard and we lose sight of, uh, of the true joy that those things bring to our lives. And so stepping away is not bad. Take an opportunity, step away, reevaluate, and refine your joy in what you're doing. So I just want to encourage you guys with that. Um, thanks for following along my trip to Duluth with Kels. We had a great time. And uh, yeah, see you back here in a couple of days. Bye.